What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. So we're to talk a little hashtag cool as uh, the great American Bucci Main would say, and um, talk about Arizona State going D1. Um, you know, I believe it was the first uh, Sun Belt school to have Division One college hockey, um, and obviously hockey in Arizona has been on the uh, uprise. I mean, we, we've talked about uprise on the rise. We've talked about Austin Matthews ad nauseum. What that key brings to the table, the, the Phoenix area native and you know, the projected top pick in the 2016 draft. Um, I think it would be kind of funny if he, he he won't end up going to Arizona State, but he's still uncommitted for college, and um, it would be kind of funny to um, you know to have him end up there. And next year they'll play a mixture of the club hockey and D1 schedule, and then uh, 2016 go uh, full D1. Um, definitely some really cool stuff. They've been one of the better club teams in the country. Um, and it's funny, I actually – Kind of looked into going to Arizona State at one point in time when I was in, in high school. I wouldn't have played. I'm not good enough. I know. Humility. Uh, but, you know, just it, it's obviously a great atmosphere. I, them and the Arizona Cardinals both have a soft spot in my heart in football um, because of Pat Tillman. You know, we, I talked about Pat on the show, and I, you know, I tweeted a, you know, a number of times. Uh, something that really, you know, I, I looked up to as a young kid, and, uh, you know, the ultimate sacrifice made for, for our freedom is something I'll, I'll never forget. That's always why I guess I kind of half-assed my Pac-10 team, Pac-12 team, whatever it is now. And <clears throat> going a step further with the Pac-12, does this open the door for UCLA, USC, um, you know, Cal to step up? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I talked, again, ad nauseum, how the expansion of hockey in, in Southern California has been amazing in the last decade. And you look at, you know, the Kings won two Stanley Cups, the Ducks won the Cup in 2007, just the consistent success of both franchises in the last five, six years. Obviously, the Kings were in dire straits once upon a time, but, you know, Dean Lombardi's done a fantastic job, and you're introducing, um, you're really putting hockey on the, ma on the map in one of the world's biggest and most, you know, interesting markets. And, you know, you're looking at kids like Matt Nieto, like Bo Bennett, um, you know, going, playing in the NHL uh, from, you know, uh, Nieto's from Long Beach, and I think Bennett's from, from Gardena. And, you know, just these, the talent level is going up and up and up, and it's only going to continue to improve. So I think this opens the door for those schools to have, you know, D1 hockey programs. I think by 2020, the Pac-12 will have a hockey conference, which, I, as far as I'm concerned, should happen a while ago. And I think it's going to be an amazing thing for kids from Southern California. A lot of kids are going up and playing major junior. You know, you're seeing guys like Emerson Needham go up there and play, um, you know, play junior hockey, and then, you know, Chase Delio, Eric Comrie, guys like that go up there and play. And it's about 60-40 in terms of junior versus college hockey in California. But I think if kids are watching college hockey growing up, that gets more kids to, to say, all right, this is awesome. I want to play. You know, it's kind of like growing up in Boston, going over, you know, being blessed to go over and watch BC, watch BU, watch Northeastern. Um, watch Hobbit, watch all those schools play consistently, you know, really breeds a fan in you at, at a young age, and that's why so many kids in Massachusetts stay local. I mean, same thing goes for Michigan, Minnesota, the other markets that have big-time college hockey programs. But, again, I'm really happy for Arizona State. One of the kids' fathers on the team kicked in $32 million to make it happen. So, I mean, talk about thanks, Dad. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just a great thing for hockey and the Sun Belt and hockey on the whole. Um, what is this going to be the next step of college hockey, you know? What other schools are going to add it? They've been talking about Annapolis for a while. I see West Point and Air Force will do one. Um, they've been talking about Syracuse for a while. I guess the athletic director at Syracuse hates hockey, so that's could put the kibosh on that. But you know, I think as the game grows, you're going to see programs springing up and doing well. I think Penn State will be a national powerhouse in due time with the Pagula family, you know, really pumping a ton of money into that program. Um, and, you know, you'll see what happens. I mean, I think if you're going on a recruiting trip to Arizona State, you know, the weather's amazing. You go catch a football game. Uh, I think one of the best baseball programs in the country, not a, not a bad basketball program, either James Hodden for the Houston Rockets played there. Um, so just a great all-around athletic uh, department, and I think they're going to do some big-time things. And, uh, you know, they're breaking down the barriers. So it's, it's a great day for hockey. To quote the great American, Badger Bob Johnson. Anyway, that's like this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Arizona State going Division One in the great sport of ice hockey. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.